So I've been having a blast in downtown Chicago this week. Uh, stopped by the NBC building. And last night, uh, after, uh, after the corporate event, I was here for, it was actually at the Field Museum. It was closed down, so the exhibits were just empty. So uh, got to walk around those with nobody. <laughs> absolute blast. Today I've got a lot of time to kill until uh, tonight's dinner. So I wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys about uh, what I bring to a show. And I, I wish it was more interesting. I wish there was more. I am very much a minimalist, especially when I travel. Again, once we get to the studio or uh, the metaphysical shop I, I work, uh, there's a lot more cooler stuff that's, uh, I think, more interesting on camera, but I want to be as real with you guys as possible. So here it is, my very elaborate show bag. This is it. I can do a show for any size group. So a couple things. Number one, uh, a blindfold. Uh, this is just a bandana. I have a couple sleep masks that I use. Uh, I blindfold myself during the show uh, to interpret dreams and uh, sometimes I use a traditional blindfold like that. Sometimes I have a sleep mask. Today I'm, ta I'm bringing just the bare essentials. Note cards. Uh, there's a hundred of them. I uh, haven't even opened them yet. I'm gonna open them at the event. There's about uh, 200 people so I can work with about half the room. Uh, I didn't bring any pens. I normally need pens but luckily I didn't have to uh, because everyone at this event uh, is gonna have their own pens at their uh, at their tables. Last major thing I have in here is you'll notice I've got the deck wrapped in rubber bands. There's a, there's a specific reason for that. Uh, so the deck of cards is pretty new. Uh, it's well shuffled. I give it a couple shuffles before the show. It also gives me something to do while uh, while waiting to go on. It makes me look busy, uh, even though I'm just kind of meditating and gathering my thoughts uh, before the show. Uh, I've got the rubber bands on my hand. Uh, I don't put them in a card box or anything like that because um, I want access to this deck uh, quickly and easily. And also, this deck is going to be tossed around the room at several points. So I want to be able to wrap the rubber bands around it nice and quickly. You'll notice I just keep the rubber band on my fingers so it stays right there so I can handle the cards. Uh, I usually fan them out or riffle through and have someone think of a card. Uh, and then once I'm done, I can just wrap the deck up and give it a nice double wrap uh, with uh, very little uh, very little meth, fuss, must. Don't have to fumble around in my pocket for the box. W one other thing that's behind the scenes, everything looks very uh, minimal, but everything is well thought out. You'll notice every rubber band is tied together. That way, uh, when I uh, bunch them all together like this, they are basically one unit. And what this also means is that if any one of these breaks, uh, especially when this deck of cards is being thrown around the room, there's still three other rubber bands uh, holding it in place. So I should be pretty safe. I mean, that's it. That's pretty much everything I bring. I do have an outside pocket here, and I do keep something in the outside pocket. Every once in a while I am asked if uh, if I can walk around uh, performing for people and that's what's in this outside pocket. Uh, if I need to walk around and do stuff for people I can use the deck of cards, I can do card readings, I can uh, do mind reading, I can do fortune telling, I can do psychology tests, there's so much I can do with a regular deck of cards. I do carry uh, two other things. Uh, the first thing I usually carry is uh, a tiny 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 deck of tarot cards so if the client is comfortable with with tarot cards I take out the death card and the devil card and uh, I'll mix these up and I'll go up to a group and I'll ask um, I'll say I'm part of the entertainment uh, and I'll ask if they would like me to tell their fortune try some mind reading or just share with them an unusual fact and the unusual fact is a uh, uh, a way for them to sort of get a get out of jail free card without having to tell me no. I can have several people all pull a card uh, face up or face down. Um, I can use these for mind reading as well. Um, if someone wants to uh, say stop or cut the cards and look at one, uh, I can tell them details about the card that they're looking at. And I can use these pretty, uh, pretty easily. If this doesn't seem like a lot, keep in mind I don't need a lot of things to carry around when I work. Those of you who have seen me live know I can just go up to someone and guess their iPhone passcode. I don't need to carry anything for that. I can guess the name of the first person they, have a, they ever had a crush on. I don't need to carry anything for that. The last thing I carry is this. 
Uh, those of you who know what this is know that this is a, uh, a pendulum. I can do a lot of things with this. For starters, I can give it to someone and it can move in their hand just based on the way they're thinking of it. Uh, I can use it to have them ask, answer questions. I can use this to find something. If someone, uh, one thing I'll do is I'll have a group of people, I'll hide a bill uh, in one person's hand, so it's about like five or six people, one person has a bill, no one else has it. I'll hold this over their hands to try to determine which way it goes. So if it goes in a circle, that means no, and if I get over someone's hand and it starts going in a straight line, much like that, that means yes. Uh, so I can do a lot, a lot, a lot with this as well. So that's it. That's basically all I keep in my show bag. It may not seem like much, but again, I don't need much when I perform, but I know exactly what I need. I know that I've got the right amount of cards for this gig and then some. Uh, I do have an extra deck of cards uh, in my suit coat at all times. So if the rubber band, if worst case scenario, all of these rubber bands break and all, the deck goes everywhere, in my inside jacket pocket at all times. It's a fresh deck of cards ready to go in case of emergencies. Nothing against people who carry a lot more stuff than this. Uh, I know exactly what I need. I've made enough lists. I've done the show enough times. I know it all inside and out to know that this is all I need. If you're putting together uh, a travel list for whether you're doing a, a show, whether you're a motivational speaker who needs some visual aids, whether you're a performer that does need more props than this, it doesn't matter. What matters is what makes you comfortable. You need to have the right amount of stuff in order for you to work at the best that you possibly can. You don't want to bring too much that you don't need, but at the same time, you don't want to not bring enough and uh, be caught unprepared. My big tip is to write out everything you need. Make a nice big list. You'll start to see, oh wait, I can skip that or or move that down to here. Making lists is incredibly, uh, incredibly helpful and also just uh, going through uh, your case, seeing what's in there, doing some spring cleaning. This is the result of years and years and years of bringing too much stuff and cutting down what I don't use bit by bit show by show until it gets down to just this, with plenty of extra room if I do want to bring uh, extra stuff. Again, follow me on all social media at Joe Diamond Live. Click the subscribe button down below. Uh, click the little bell as well. And again, leave a comment uh, in the next video. I'm going to do a Q&A uh, video, so ask any kind of question you want, whether it's about being a mind reader, whether it's about being creative. Let me know what you want to know, uh, and uh, I would love to share my expertise with you guys. Take care.